Hi everyone, uh, this is Siddharth and we are going to see about the usage of the frame rule. It has um, this is the frame rule and it has a measurements in millimeters and centimeters, which is which we use to measure the box sizes, uh, length of the sides, length of, length to drop, uh, head width, um, crest height at projection, etc. This is the front surface of the scale, and this is the uh, back surface of the scale, which has the which is used to measure the apical radius, angle of sides, um, splay angle of the frames, etc. To measure the box size, it involves both horizontal and vertical lens size. To measure the horizontal lens size, place a frame in such a way that upper and the lower tangent to the lens, uh, lens are parallel. So, uh, and then place the nasal portion of the frame towards the vertical center line and try to measure the maximum uh, horizontal distance of the lens and this marking to be noted as zero and the other end will be placing on the any measurements here and thus gives the maximum horizontal lens size and this is the vertical center line and this is the horizontal center line so the vertical lens size place the lower edge of the lens along the vertical line and try to measure the maximum uh, vertical length and measure the reading and it is 28 which is the b, b size of the lens and the maximum horizontal lens size is around uh, 52 which is the a size this is a uh, rimless frame and it gives the direct reading in cases of where the full frame is used we should be adding a uh, about 1 mm to compensate the uh, bevel edges so that it gives the maximum A size and the B size. Let us assume this to be the shape of the lens and the maximum horizontal lens size is about here which is the A size and the B size is about here and lie the intersection point of both are about to lie here and when we are going to consider the horizontal uh, box center size this is not going to be the box center if the a size is about uh, 52 here and the half of it is 26 and it is here and if the b size is about uh, 20 and the half of it is about 10 here and uh, we should consider the intersection point of this and this so this gives the c uh, box center c box center distance is the distance between the two lens box centers so this is the box center place where i mark is the bo box center of this lens and this lens so place one one side of the box centers at zero and try to measure the other sides where it ends and here it's about 74 mm distance between lenses is the minimum distance between two lenses and place the one edge of the one side of the lens at zero and try to measure the minimum distance between the lens and here it is 16 Apical radius is the radius of the arc forming the lower edge of the bridge so to measure that here there are uh, arcs which is given at uh, from 5 to 12 and we have to match the exact uh, arc where the frame and the ruler get matched so it's 7 it's smaller with 8 it's almost equal with 9 it's bigger so we go for 8 angle of lit back is the angle at which the temple gets back with respect to the inner surface so to measure that place the inner surface of the front plane along the sides of the ruler and try to measure at what angle the it inclines uh, so for this it's around uh, 10, 10 degrees downward angle of drop is the angle at which the length to bend uh, drops so to measure that place the temple along the sides of the roller and the air point along the 
uh, horizontal line here so we will placing that the and measure the angles which uh, by the reading given here so in this case the length to uh, angle of drop is around 30 drop is the distance from the air point to the extreme end of the sides to measure that place the air point along zero and then measure the extreme ends where it ends so for this frame it's around 35 bend is the distance between the dwell point and the air point so to measure that place the uh, frame where the air point is along this and then try to measure the reading along here in this scale so when we place the air point along this it's almost here and the dwell point is around uh, 100 and 103 the distance between the temples at the air point where it gets bent along the air so for this frame it's along 150 mm temple width is the maximum distance where uh, 25 mm behind the front of the frame so to measure that place the front of the plane along the horizontal line so and here it's the line is about 25 mm below so if you place the front of the line, front of the frame along the horizontal line it's actually going to measure the measure the temple width at 25 mm below so for this frame it's uh, around 148 this is by placing one end at zero and measuring the reading at the other end angle of sides it's the angle between the back surface of the plane front and the inclination of the sides so to measure that place the mid of the sides along the vertical line here and then front of the frame to be along the sides of the ruler and then try to measure the angles here so which gives which for this frame it's around 5 degrees the distance between pads enters is the horizontal distance between the two pads it measures the center of the pad distance so to measure that place one center of the pad at along zero and try to measure the distance where the other center lies so it's around uh, 16 angle is the angle between the vertical line and the pad plane so the vertical pl plane is around the center of the frame which is around the center of the nose bridge and place the center of the nose bridge along this vertical line and try to measure the try to measure where the pad plane lies it lies around uh, 20 display angle is the angle between the pad plane and the normal to the back plane so to measure that place the surface of the pads along the sides of the scale and then try to measure the maximum uh, in angle from the inner sides so for this it is around uh, um, 15 to measure the crust height place the horizontal line over the horizontal line of the scale and placing the frame center along the vertical line and just measure at what position the lower end of the crust reads so for this frame it's 7 7 cmm which projection is how much the bridge is projected outwards from when compared to the front so to measure that place the back surface of the front along the horizontal line and try to measure from overhead at what line what reading the project projected area gets coincide so for this it's around 8 mm
distance between rims is the distance between two initial portion of the rims to measure that place the lower portion of the crest along the horizontal line and place the nasal portion at 10 and measure the reading over that and that gives the um, distance between rims at 10 to measure the distance between rims at 15 place the nasal portion at 15 and measure the dis uh, distance between rims uh, along the 15 line and that gives the distance between rims at 15 usually the distance between rims are measured at 10 and 15